Welcome to the party. We are in a party. This is a party. Welcome to the party. <laughs> What's up? This <laughs> is a party. Why do you keep saying it like that? What? Party? This, this is a party. It is a party. Hi, party everyone, all the time welcome with the to Bros. Super Banjo Kazooie Bros. I'm Gerard. I'm Alex. Today we're playing one of my absolute favorite games of all time Banjo Kazooie. He's so good. He's so good. <laughs> He's such a good bear. He's the best bear. Look at that one shroom chilling. That frog. So Banjo Kazooie came out in 1998. It's, God, I feel old. Yeah, it's almost 20 years old. It uh, is by a company called Rare. <laughs> uh, Just a little company. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Yeah. Uh, it's a company called Rare. They yeah. were working on a game called Dream Land of Giants. And uh, after they saw Mario 64, they were like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so they threw out dreams, and they ended up uh, making Spiral Mountain, basically. And yeah. then uh, they built a test level to test out their mechanics. And uh, they didn't even have the Talon Trot until they designed all the levels. Yeah. Which is crazy. Think about that. <laughs> You'll see what the Talon Trot is li later. Now, as you, as you guys know, uh, Grant Kirkup is a personal friend of mine. Grant, if you're watching, I love you. Smoochies. Thank you for everything. Uh, Grant's his, super good at saying the C his, word, his, by the way. His, That's oh, a little trivia is. about oh, Grant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, he's a great man. When he utters it, it, it sounds more true than it's ever been. <laughs> uh, shout out to his son, Max, for watching us. Max, you're the best, dude. Sorry I said that your dad's good at saying the C word, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I have to log in real quick. Sorry. Call. Uh, speaking right. of Grant, uh, according to an interview that he did with OC Remix, this is his favorite game he's ever worked on. That's real, though. Dude, I think that like probably 50% of the times that I've seen Grant Kirkhope in real life, he has been wearing some sort of like Banjo-Kazooie. It's the best game. <laughs> yeah. Can we just agree? It's, the, it's, it's, it's damn the, good. I have yeah. so many good memories of this game. Uh, it came out I love, again. I just love that he's playing on the Game Boy. Yeah, I know. Oh, crap. You know what? The music's not playing here. Mm. I turned off background music. So that you could like jam through it? Yeah. Where do I go to my options? Just do it once oh. you start to get... I think I have to do it before. Oh, really? There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, I don't know if you know this, uh, but... The reason it's weird that he's playing Game Boys is this is the 10th anniversary version of the game. Uh, there we which, go. While the original was released on Nintendo 64, this version is the Xbox 360 version, which is now also available on Xbox One. Yeah. And uh, they had to change a few things. They added the Microsoft logo instead of the Nintendo logo, but they still have that Game Boy there because it's not necessarily a Game Boy. It's you know, generic enough to not even worry about it. I mean, it's seriously it. definitely a Game Boy, but... Apparently, it's not quite... Now, everyone at home is going to be asking, why didn't you play the N64 version? I actually like this version just the same. It's beautiful. It handles great. It works good. And I the freaking the, stop I, and swap works. I love the 360 controller, so it, it And just, it's in 69, which I really like. Yes. The game looks great. Uh, So this is the most praised platformer on N64 next to Ocarina of Time, which is pretty Ocarina crazy. Ocarina of Time isn't a platformer, though. Uh, Just, it kind of is. And uh, that... Uh, xylophone that Mumbo was playing, he's the uh, Skull Man. Yeah. The xylophone that Mumbo was playing uh, was the same <laughs> xylophone in Candy Kong's music shop, shop from Donkey Kong 64. So, <laughs> if you ever <laughs> go play Donkey Kong 64, get in it. <laughs> also, witch puns, get in it. Hilarious. <laughs> I love that all the characters in this game speak with like four sounds. It's great. It's like really cool. Here's some fun completionist trivia. Animating the talking heads was really hard for that one bit in the video. Oh my god. This is so hard. It's like a really solid, like, it really looks like the damn game. Oh, in the video? Yeah. Yeah, that took me hours of hand animating. <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy either. I'm like, not a hand animator. I'm, I'm not an animator. I can't do like 3D stuff or anything like that. It took a while, but it was crazy. I feel you, dog. Oh, so Banjo God, I'm so is ready a bear. To play this. He's a honey bear. Uh, if 
you're wondering. Patrick, show a picture of a honey bear. Yep, there's a honey bear. And Confirmed. Uh, he has a shark tooth necklace around his neck, which a lot of people don't realize, I think. Yeah. Which is like a weird thing for a bear to have around his neck. Because, like, in my opinion, like, I feel like a bear could just, like, take down a shark. And then this is Tootie, right? That's her name. Uh huh. And goggles. Goggles? Bo uh, bottles. Bottles. <laughs> the screenshot of Banjo walking in the forest. You know what I always liked about this game? Mm. Was, like, the macro shots that they do. They, like, do a lot of, like, close ups, and the low poly looks really good. Like, it's a testament to Rare's, like, skill at doing low poly art that they. The, the close-ups look really good in this game. Yeah. So basically what happens in this game is that 2D's Banjo's little sister, she gets swiped, and then you gotta go get him. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> Does this game... Do you think this game, like, is the one that started this, like, collect fest? Like, Mario 64 has some stuff, but this is, like, the one that has, like, a million things. Apparently, yeah. you know, Banjo, like, the only time you ever see him playing a Banjo is in the intro to the first game. That's correct. Isn't that weird? His name is Banjo, though. Right, but you'd think that he'd play Banjo all the damn time if his name is Banjo. <laughs> That's true. He's also voiced by Chris Sutherland, if that's the thing you wanted to know about. Chris Sutherland also, is he the voice of Conquer, right? Uh, possibly. I, I'm not sure. I could be wrong. <laughs> you can also see Banjo's stuffed head over the fireplace in Conker's Bad Fur Day. That's true, you can. Oh, God, Grant Kirkhope, you are just so good. Also, Banjo speaks English, but he only does it once. Really? Yeah. When? In Diddy Kong Racing, he says, I'm Banjo. That's right. Yeah. I'm Banjo. And that's when you find out that Banjo has a Texas accent. <laughs> oh, I'm Banjo. So check it out. Gaw, gaw. Hilarious. Also, Banjo's head is on the wall and uh, grabbed by the ghoulies. Banjo and Kazooie. Oh, Wow. Oh my god, I can't wait to play. I'm like, I'm tempted to skip. You just want to like go like get yeah. like a bunch of jiggies. <laughs> I'm just like ready to do this. Uh, I'm gonna not be taught the basics if you guys don't mind. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna skip this. You know what? If you really want to see the basics on Bad Jigazoo, you just get the game. <laughs> like. How many times have you played this, do you think? Me, personally? Yeah. Oh, man. Probably 15, 16 times. Yeah. So, uh, Kazooie is a red-crested Breagle. I don't think that's a real thing. I'm not even sure if a honey bear is a real thing. Uh, but uh, she doesn't pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> the first collectible we're going to be getting is one of many... Of the golden honeycombs. Yep. Also, Kazooie has the same thing as Banjo, where the only kazoo Kazooie's ever played is in the intro to Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I dropped my phone. So, <laughs> according to the Grunty's Revenge game, which I believe is the GBA game, I I'm, had that game. If I'm not mistaken, is that right? Yeah. Uh, apparently, Kazooie met Banjo because Banjo found a blue backpack on Breagle Beach one day and Kazooie was in it. What? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> they were just, he was just chilling on the beach. He finds a backpack and he's like, oh, wow, there's a bird in here. Check out that uh, underwater version of the theme. That just seamlessly goes back and forth. Cool stuff. <laughs> So starting out skills, we have the double, we have a kind of a, a double jump, um, which I, I saw that rare replay, that rare video that came out a few days ago, which is great. Um, which? Right before the holidays. Talking about Dream. 
and like how it became banjo. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, they were talking about how uh, they really wanted the bear to have a double jump. They didn't know how to incorporate it, and with Kazooie, they allow that. So, cause it's not really more, it's not really a double jump. It's more like a like a bear extended uh, a float. Yeah, like a bear wouldn't be able to like. There's no double justification jump. for why a bear would be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, speaking of Kazooie, uh, Kazooie has talons in this game and in and in the second game, Banjo Tooie, hilarious. Uh, but uh, not in Nuts and Bolts. Huh. And for the record, my opinion of Nuts and Bolts, I know everybody just like immediately <laughs> takes a shit on it. If it wasn't branded as Banjo Kazooie, everyone would love that game. It's a great game. It's really it's a good just, game. It's just, it's not a great Banjo Kazooie yeah, game. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure they should have taken that chance on like branding it Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, they really messed up. But the game is fun, and it and it feels like Banjo Kazooie at the beginning. Yeah, it, feels it does. Real good at the beginning. Uh, uh, yeah. And unlike uh, unlike uh, Banjo, whose head is mounted, Kazooie's head in Conquer is uh, on an umbrella, <laughs> which is like way worse. I love how dark in contrast uh, Conquer's Bad for Day is compared to Banjo. Ban Banjo is so full of life, and Conquer is just like. I'm gonna ruin the world. Right. What's the name of this area? Spiral Mountain? This is uh, Spiral Mountain. This is the intro area. Yeah. It's like the castle. Or yeah. Bob Bomb's battlefield. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, this is, that's it. It's the castle. Yeah. Rather, it's the outside of the castle. Right. <coughs> it's the only world that I believe is in every Banjo Kazooie game. Really? Yeah. That makes uh, sense, though. It's it's their home base. Yeah, it's in all of them. Even Banjo Pilot. The music and the sound design of this <laughs> game. <laughs> I love that she speaks in rhyme. Also, 2D being like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think Grant also does the voice of Mumbo. Yes, he does. At least, I believe. Yeah. Gruntilda's last name is Winky Bunyan. <laughs> <laughs> so good trivia, I didn't know. Yeah. Gruntilda Winky Bunyan. <laughs> uh, get hyped for that. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece of missing. Dun dun. Oh uh, yeah. It's also like kind of a great bit. I love Grunty because she kind of like doesn't follow the rules of your normal video game villain. Yeah. Where she sort of is like inexplicably just back. Yeah. Uh, you fight her ghost. I love the puzzle. She ends up as a skeleton at one point, and then in nuts and bolts, she's like a head in a jar. Which is hilarious. Spoilers. What? That she dies at the end of this game? Yeah. You know what? If you... Patrick, waited, if you think it's a spoiler, bleep out what Alex and I just said. It's not a spoiler. This game has been out for 16 years. Like, what is it? 18 years now? It's on, it's on you at this point. If you, if you didn't find out what happened to Banjo and you were waiting. I know, uh -huh. dude. We can't. We can't assume the world's like us. I will. Oh uh, yes, Momo's Mountain, my favorite stage. Yeah, Momo's Mountain let's is go, very let's good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's oh. go. Uh, for some reason, Gruntilda's obsessed with game shows. Yeah, that's true. Which is a thing. Um, but fun thing about Gruntilda is that in Project Dream. She was going to be a giant instead of a witch. Uh, probably because that game was called Dreamland of Giants or something like that. Um, but who knows? Um, and apparently there's a theory that she's like slowly running out of magic and starting to uh, like, because she like slowly goes from being like a magic witch to like a robot master. What? Like a robot master? Yeah, like she starts like building like robots and stuff more, 
and she like gets a robot body and like stuff like that. Like a theory on the internet is that she's like running out of magic and has to like resort to like tech. Jinjos. Yeah. God, I'm so hyped for this. I can't. What? I'm so excited. I can't even like talk. Uh, also, in the Japanese version of the game, uh, it's like impossible to like rhyme while she says the same lines. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So she just like talks like a like a stereotypical old woman, <laughs> which I guess is like long, drawn out, and boring. I guess. So that's cool. Oh, I don't have the butt slam, but let's learn the butt slam. Teach us how to slam. Teach us how to slam, and welcome to the jam. I call this the beak buster. Jump into the air, then press the right or left trigger to send Kazoo right slamming or left hard down trigger. to the floor. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, nest girl. You'll be using it a lot. It's real. Uh, so, this is Mumbo's Mountain. Yeah. Uh, probably my favorite level in the game, too. Ah, Rusty Bucket Bay. I don't know. Ah. They're all so good. Yeah. Uh, originally, the music, uh, from inside of the Termite Mound was the, was the music for Mumbo's Mountain, but they changed it for some reason. Uh, and, uh, another trivia about this is that, you know, there's a couple levels in each of the two games where the world, like, undergoes a transformation. Yeah. Uh, but this is the only one where you can skip the transformation and still get 100%. Oh. Huh. If you... If you, like, really, like, like, cheese the game a lot, you can, like, get through Ticker's Tower and the mountain without being a termite, somehow. Like, if you just, like, really... Tech it. Oh, that's right. There's ten on each world. Uh, and just a little side, side fun fact for you guys. Yo, uh -huh. in uh, Italian, uh, it's called Montagna di Mumbo. <laughs> Which I mean, I guess I should I should expect at this point, but I mean that's yeah. It's just it's funny the way that you said it. Montagna di Mumbo. Mumbo, Mumbo, go. <laughs> A little West Side Story joke for you oh, guys. Oh, can't see. Oh, no. Oh, what? We gotta get the trot. The what? The trot. It's oh, the trot. Trot, trot, trot. We gotta learn that talon trot. That talon trot, though. I have to say, my favorite thing about Banjo-Tooie is the fact that all the skills you learn from Banjo-Kazooie, you have them, and they're, like, good. Yeah. Like, they just they they're make like, sense. useful right away. Yeah. I remember this boss from forever. Grrr. <laughs> do, do, do. I love that, like, there's, like, context-specific additions <coughs> to the music. It's like the Yoshi's thing, but, like, all again. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, Kanga's voiced by Lorenzo Music, who, uh... Did voice acting for Rhoda and for Garfield and Friends, the show? Huh. Um, and, uh, it's weird, like, that's such a big voice actor. Yo, we should, like, ask Grant if he wants to come on and talk about Banjo. I will hang out with that guy anytime because I genuinely enjoy his company. He's the coolest. Yeah, he's a really, just like a real dude. He's great. Uh, if you get Viva Pinata, you can download Conga's Carnival Hat for your pinatas. Really? Yep. That's cool. And uh, I'm gonna play that game. You want to know another little little secret? Yeah, I'm Conga the... uses Donkey Kong sound effects. Number one. I totally just heard it. Yeah. The brr, brr from from Mario Kart. Yep. And uh, number two, if you talk to him as a termite, they forgot to change his name from Congo to Conga in the termite version of his dialogue. Which, I'm not going to say this is why, but I'm going to speculate that it's because of the movie. 
Which, which movie? Congo? With the gorillas? Oh, really? I'm just speculating. But they changed it from Congo to Conga. That's a barely a change. Interesting. Interesting, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, sidebar. The yeah. movie Congo? Very bad movie. <laughs> Skip that one. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's a weird ass movie. Oh, the grunty switch. <laughs> you saying you don't want that egg? Nah, forget it. <laughs> nah. Not all eggs, dude. I love eggs. I know you. Everyone knows you love eggs. Check out our new album, Big Bad Bosses, <laughs> Power Overwhelming on iTunes. Greg Kirkhope's on the album. Greg Kirkhope, you're on the album, baby. Dude, can I just like confirm once again that it's Grant Kirkhope? It is him actually singing. I, I what is going on? I can't believe that. Like, I feel like, I feel like people aren't reacting to that the way that I expected, and I have a feeling that a large part of it has to do with the fact that a lot of people don't realize it's legitimately Grant Kirkhope. Yeah, I think that's true. Maybe it's our fault. Maybe we didn't convey it better, good enough. How much more can we do it than having him be like, I'm Grant Kirkhope. <laughs> he has a whole song about him. and, and Like, how it's so him is what the song is about. Yeah, and there's a whole sketch before. He's like, <laughs> I did Banjo-Kazooie and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you, man. Dude, 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 dude. I'm Damn. The music is so lush. Is it's the thing. great. That's the thing that's crazy about it. Like, you listen to Mario 64 and whatnot, the music's great. But something about the arrangement of this is so lush. It just sounds like there's a lot going on. And this is like Nintendo 64, you know what I mean? Unless they redo the soundtrack. It sounds the same. This game looks like a PS2 or GameCube game. In my no, eyes. no, you, you're remembering it wrong. No way, this man. This looks like an HD N64 game for sure. Ah, it looks better than that to me. Metal Gear Solid 2 is on PS2, man. This looks better than Metal Gear Solid 2. You are crazy. Yes, I am. Somebody Come take at a me, clip, bro. Somebody take a clip of this of Gerard saying this looks better than Metal Gear Solid 2. And no, like, I don't want to put it on, anyone. put it on Vine. I just want to no, see. I want to no. see. It, I want to see it memed. No, I don't. Please leave me alone. Don't do that. Combo it with that drunk Cookie Monster puppet <laughs> that's like falling through the dishwasher. No, no, leave me alone. Beer Bros homework. No, not Beer Bros homework. Beer Bros. Beer Bros HW. homework. Leave Gerard alone. Beer Bros homework. Figure out what the fuck the deal is with a bird eating like gold puzzle pieces and why it's not dead. <laughs> he like straight up is like gold. While his friend's like, yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah, huh? Jinjo! Yeah, as a completionist, this was one of my first games I completed it, and I really loved it. It made me... Was that the... That wasn't the first time you played it, surely. What do you mean? When you completed it? No, no, absolutely not. Tons of times. Um, In uh, Witchy World? You know that? Uh, from Xbox... Uh, from... Well, what am I saying? Banjo Tooie game, like the part Witchy World, like it's in Banjo Tooie. Uh, it's one of the worlds in that game. Uh, Jinjo, there's a Jinjo in a cage, and it's called Weird Killer Alien. It's like labeled as Weird Killer Alien. <laughs> uh, and apparently, like, the speculation is that it's a mix between Jiggy and Banjo. Like, but I'm like, what the hell? What is that, then? What? Kazooie and, and... Jinjo's are a mix of, of Banjo and Kazooie? Like, that's... Well, that's not what I said, but that's also speculated that it's like... It's a mix between a bear and a bird, kind of. But they like... I don't know, they seem like they can like... Fly and stuff, I don't know. But they're from a village, right? Yeah. In Banjo Tooie. In Tui, you like visit the village. Yeah, and their their village is ruled by King Jingaling. Yeah, dude. And then there's Minjos, which are mean Jinjos. <laughs> That's right. They're fake Jinjos. Yeah. They like come after you if you try to like say yeah. hello. Yeah. They're like, they're like What's get up? back here. What are you doing? 
which I think is a hilarious idea. Now, when everyone thinks of rare, I think Banjo Kazooie like takes the cake. I think it's like a, it. The the world, the atmosphere, the comedy. I think it's a triple A game. Yeah. Uh, personally, from my personal experience, the game that was the, the rare game that was like the one that I like fell into the most, Jet Force Gemini. Yeah, that's real. I that, get that. I played sure. the sh I played the shit out of that game. I probably completed it. You didn't do that. I bet you I did, dude. I know you didn't. Did you do that game yet? No. Dude. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the gun bound. <laughs> oh my god, it's the best. Oh my car. Remember all the vines we got of that? It was hilarious. Oh my god. One guy got it perfect. The freaking uh, oh my god from Michigan Report from Hell. Is the real winner. <laughs> did we already we did that already, right? Yeah. Audio atrocities, Michigan report from hell. Maybe we didn't. I found out about that from Patrick. Stop the video right now and just, and play. just play a clip of it. Justin! Justin! Oh my god! It's from Audio it's Atrocities, so Michigan Report from Hell. I found out about it from uh, the good folks over at Laser Time. And I just couldn't. I it it's blew like me away. Cynthia, Cynthia, Justine. Oh Justine. my God! Brenda. <laughs> no. <laughs> I also love the one where he's like, "Don't kill me." What are you doing? But he's like, but then he's like, but I suppose you have to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I suppose you have to. Oh yeah, where's God. that dude at? Let's get him on Beer Bros. The guy from Michigan Report from Hell? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like a Japanese dude who doesn't speak English. Oh, bummer. Either that or he's like from a country where they don't speak English. Like, I believe that he was reading those lines phonetically. Yeah. Termites. Yo, we have to get Kelly on here just to show off her Kazooie impression. Oh my God. It's so good. Do you want to know that Kelly is probably better than you at this game somehow? I agree. I probably, I wouldn't doubt that. She sat there in one sitting and beat half the game and then beat the other half of the game and then lost against Grunty once and was like, I don't want to play. <laughs> I was like, it's okay, you can do it. <laughs> you know, John, John Tron, I guess like when he was a kid, had the hardest time beating. Did you just like j give him a James Bond intro? What? You were like, John, John Tron. <laughs> no, not purposefully. <laughs> You just wanted to make it clear which John you were yeah, talking about. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of Johns in the game. John YouTube is space. a. John yeah. Bain, John Tron. Proton John. Proton John. John. Crouton John. Crouton John? Crouton John is my parody for Pro Proton John to do a salad let's play review. <laughs> he should do. I love Proton John. He should do more I love Proton stuff John. Stuff with us all the time. I, I wish I saw him all the time. Yeah. Tradition! Tradition every year, Proton John comes to E3, and then he stays a week with me in LA, and we do fun things. It's always great to see him. I love him. I love you, John. Pro everyone, tweet some love at Proton John. Tell him he's tight, dude. Tell so him tight. Tell him sorry about the hot dogs. What is that? I didn't. I didn't read that tweet. What was that tweet all about? It's about an awful hot dog that he had, and like somebody was just like, uh, our our uh, our lunchtime tweeter, our mealtime tweeter, let's say. Yeah, Alex, uh, explain this because I my Twitter feed is nothing but this gentleman tweeting every every four or five hours new food. Yeah, explain uh, the context of this. Yeah, so I actually don't know what his first name is, uh, but his his Twitter name is jmeisterj8d, and shout out to you, dude. Yeah, he, a while ago he just started this sort of like humble. Well, I think it's because Alex, you were like, yeah, I was like, have you, lunch. Beer Bros homework. Have, have lunch for lunch. lunch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he he sort of like, I don't. It was a long ass time ago. He's been doing it for almost a year. This guy deserves props. Yeah. The commitment is real with this guy. He was like, yo, I'm gonna tweet you everything I eat, and I was like, all right. And he's just been doing it. A lot of the times he vines it. It's it's that dude like does his homework. If there was like if this was school. He'd be like number one in the class. He'd get a, he, yeah, he'd bring us an apple. With Sleepy every day. Evie being like a, a very close yeah. second place. Sleepy Evie's is putting in the work. Oh yeah, this guy's also just doing it right. 
But it's like everything. Lunch, dinner, dessert. And we've been we've been going back and forth on a hot dog bit. Oh damn it, how do I get him to talk to me? I forget. You need five? I have five. Oh. Is this a glitch? No, I just there's a button. There we go. Oh now we gotta turn into the bug man. Ubernock. <laughs> ah, yo. Yo. Ah. If you yeah. and Kelly aren't Banjo Kazooie one year for for Halloween, I don't. I, I quit. I like. It's easy for her to be like a hot bird. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna be like in like brown sweats and like all dirty and like. <laughs> like <laughs> everybody's gonna be like, why did you come here with a hobo? Why did you bring a homeless man to this party? No, there's plenty of ways to modernize it a bit. Oh. Oh. Like biker banjo, like yeah. b-boy banjo, b-boy banjo, oh. EDM EDM banjo. He has a camel pack on. <laughs> EDM banjo has a camel pack and like way more bracelets, but he still has a shark tooth ne necklace. <laughs> Rebro's homework for real. <laughs> Instead of roasting Gerard, draw a picture of EDM banjo. <laughs> As best you can. Yeah. And for that matter, it includes Kazooie, too. Yeah, Kazooie's just a glow stick. <laughs> glow stick Kazooie? Yeah, Kazooie's a glow stick. Or this Kazooie's was one of my favorite things ever because it makes the player freak out about falling out, falling off. It's great. I love it. You were really into that yeah. little pick up there? Dudes! We Did beat you it! Oh! Yeah! Yes. Uh -huh. That's one world down, baby. One world down. See, and that's how I roll. We didn't even play the game for the first, like, ten minutes. <laughs> that's crazy. I guarantee you that as the levels go on, this it's is going to take a little longer. Yeah, it's I know take this a little one the longer, most, but... But we're, we're going to make short work of this game, I think. Uh, You know what I mean? Like, yeah. This is... I mean, even I, even if, even if, even if I was playing this, I, I'm not super familiar with this game, like... The way that you and Kelly are. Yeah. But even I could probably get through this in like not that long. Yeah. Love this game though. You yeah, can't be an animal and go through here. Yeah, I know we're done. We're There's no done. to go back inside. All right, folks. Next well, that's time. Been the, that's been the first episode of Banjo Kazooie. That felt like a Beard Bros episode from a year and a half ago. I know, man. That's crazy. That was great. I fell right back into the trivia thing. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Can't wait to hear all that L.A. trivia on L.A. L.A. Noir. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have Can't to do wait. that. I'm terrified. Can't wait I'm to so hear that. I'm so terrified to do trivia, you guys. <laughs> I'm so terrified. That color commentary. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Let me, let's open the door first and then it, we can call it. Is this bottles? Yeah. He's telling us we need notes in order to open the doors. That's, what, that's the whole point of collecting the notes. Oh, I see. You don't have to collect all of them, but you have to collect most of them. Well, you should. We will because we're gonna complete 100 percent. Are we gonna complete this game 100? percent Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Surprise, All right. surprise. Later, man. Later, man. Well, I, gotta go, I gotta go open the door first. It's good. You know what he sounds like? Uh, Quika. Remember when we were talking about Quikas? Yeah. He sounds like a Quika. He might actually be a Quika. Go. Later, man. Yeah, fools.